I'm going to uh, Gaza with this flotilla because I believe that as a human being and as an Israeli from a Jewish origin, I cannot be silent when human rights are being violated. I was telling the other reporter that as Jews, we were uh, blaming the world for being silent when the Jews were persecuted. So now we cannot be silent as Jews when we ourselves do things, terrible things to other people. Uh, our aim in going to Gaza is uh, not to save the people there. We just believe that they should be free. They should have their uh, abil the ability to go in and out freely, to have their own port without uh, restrictions from the uh, occupation. Our aim is to reach Gaza because we believe that this way we can bring solidarity uh, and we can sort of like symbolically open uh, the naval route. But we also know that even if we don't reach Gaza, even if we are stopped, our message will be delivered to the world. Because what's most important is that the world knows that this is not a natural disaster. This is a man-made uh, collective punishment imposed on the uh, population of, of the Gaza Strip and of Palestine. <laughs> It's first the political situation. Israel is so strategic. They went out of Gaza, but they go in with a strong, strong hand, stealing um, electricity, going from the air, water, and it's an, a humanitarian catastrophe, and people are not uh, living in their houses, most of them, and newborn easily die because they are living in tents, and the political situation is so terrible, and now all the news focus is on Syria, other places. So, they have been occupied illegally. Uh, the Israeli is, are stealing our boats. They come like pirates. So we need to move people to uh, put politicians in action. Where would the workers' rights have been without the workers' movement? Where would the women's rights have been without the women's movement? So we have to start going on and um, people's movement globally against the illegal occupation, siege, blockage of Gaza. Nobody else wrote anything. <laughs> okay, any flat suitcases? Where's your suitcase? What? Where's your stuff? That's it? Okay. Uh, we need that one on the bottom, I guess. How many are we putting in here? Six? Uh, eight. Eight? Thank you. Can we go walking or no, pick no, up? No, 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 it's coming. It's here, it's coming. It's coming, not the one. Uh, trying to teach people about non-violence in a world where only the big countries selling weapons give orders. So the, more, the world is ruled by the, sell, the sale of weapons. Secondly, we have problems of becoming groups working together. Too many times we are individuals, and an individual cannot on his own resist to the violence. We have to deal with our fear, because we can be afraid when we see the crazy soldiers heavily armed. But we explained that uh, it's Israel is the country that survives on fear 
and we are not afraid of them. They are afraid of us because, <laughs> because we know the truth, what is real, what is peaceful. They stay together just because they are afraid of the others in the world. And this is the, the only uh, thing that connects uh, all the Israelis together is being afraid of the others. Uh, yeah, just uh, and one uh, to the uh, other and together. handing our hands together and so we can defend the boat. Because the idea is that we're not giving up the boat like this because they arrive. Uh -huh. So they have to see the resistance, this nonviolent resistance that we can do. Being really peaceful, looking, uh, staring at the soldiers. We know the soldiers are imagine that we are dangerous, which is not true. So it's enough sometimes to stare at them and talk to them quietly <laughs> to change something in this kind of crazy attacks. This is my third flotilla. Uh, the first one was the one that had the Mavi Marmara attack that killed uh, 10 people. Um, that was quite traumatic. Uh, the second one never sailed from Greece because of the political pressure uh, applied by, uh, by the Israeli government. Uh, this one is, uh, is a little different. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's more determined to get uh, past the, uh, the Israeli blockade and on into, on into Gaza and deliver the uh, stuff that we have for them. <laughs> yeah, and there is a lot of solidarity, internationalism. Uh, yeah, uh, I really like the, the, the feelings inside the boat. Flat. Flat. Try flat. Yes. Okay. Oh. Is anybody going to the front? Because they tend to be sick with emotion. If anybody is sick, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>